Yo, this is JD Zero bringing you a Pokemon Wi Fi battle on Sun and Moon. We're gonna get Sunny here. Uh, I met him on one of the Pokemon Amino chat rooms, and we're gonna have a uh, pretty much a standard Wi Fi battle. I told him no legendaries or Ultra Peace are used for this uh, matchup. Uh, we're kind of, I was kind of like, deciding the rules and whatnot and I kind of wanted him to just you know do a kids versus full grown you know uh I guess what was it like full grown against little kids type thing going on for Pokemon but uh he kind of like indecisive of what he was trying to do for that and it's understandable to be undecisive of what you're trying to do in this uh in this particular match what i'm trying to uh, explain to him to do because uh it's like it's me who chooses the little kids and then your opponent chooses uh the bigger Pokemon and then it's like now you get to the point where okay well since I'm choosing the little kid Pokemon he's choosing the full grown adult Pokemon uh, now it's up to you where one do I go about of you know no mega evolutions and no legendary pokemon because that's the whole point and no ultra beast that's the whole point so we got into another point where okay well let me just say okay we just have a regular wi-fi battle but just no you know legendaries and ultra beast you could use z moves and mega evolutions type stuff so you know it's one of those concept things uh so, I kind of want to go ahead and, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't want to use these two. I want to use this, I want to use the Rikimaru to get things started, because, uh, it's one of those things where I could somehow come with a big situation where I could get them probably to switch out and that's roughly what I'm trying to do is either get him to switch out certain Pokemon because okay, some of his Pokemon look threatening some of his Pokemon doesn't really look that overall threatening but I, I tell him like uh you know again I don't mind you using OU Pokemon as well but the point is I'm more likely trying to have like basically not a non-competitive battle style team here and whatnot. So it is what it is. So since he chews out his Greninja, uh, he's trying to figure out why my Pokemon is dark. And he's probably figuring out that is the Zorok, so he's gonna switch. And that is a nice play on the switch because I was going for the focus blast, so it's not gonna do it's not gonna affect the the situation. So since I am in choice scarf or choice specs per se, I am gonna switch out. Uh, let's see who can handle the situation right now. Oh uh, I'm gonna switch into... What are you doing? I am... So... Okay... Anyway... I was recording, like... Duh... So... I'm just gonna switch out... Into... My Lucario. 
gets its decision way, but it is a grass and ghost type, so it's really nothing I could generally do to the grass and ghost into a uh, pit it up against a like better Pokemon. Oh, nice prediction though. So he wasn't expecting that. So the point is, do I go for Sword Stance and then make Evolve, or do I just go for a Sword Stance? I'm gonna go for a Sword Stance, cause why not? Goes for spirit shackled. I don't mind staying it in. I shouldn't do too much. And uh, what I'm gonna do is probably is Iron Tail. Now that I'm the Iron Tail, so that's not going to do as much damage as I need it to do. I am going to go for the Close Combat instead. That should take it out. Ooh. Barely got any damage off. That could have dropped my tag down by one. Uh, that kind of sucks, so I got a boost, so I'm pretty much in that decisive boost. Uh, I'm gonna keep it in, and I'm gonna just go for a bullet punch. Because he might switch out, and I'm just predicting the switch. Because he's just gonna go back into his decision way, so... That's why I just like I just rather go for a mega and decide to just get a bullet punch off. So I'll get some damage off. Not enough damage, but at least a good amount of damage. Before I die off. Yeah. It's always the good to get like a good set of damage off before. So I'm gonna go for another bullet punch. Because again, I I, try, I can't use close combat so I can't really do anything towards that. I guess he's gonna try to roost and let the uh basically let the burn kill me off. So that's always a good thing when it comes to this type of battle, to let the burn kill me off. I'm gonna try to somehow get the iron shell to go off. I do get the iron shell to go off. It does heavy damage, takes it all in one hit. Wasn't a crit, so that was crazy. So from a plus one, it does pretty good for a plus one. Surprisingly, for a plus one, it did freaking that awesomeness and yes I'm using my plushy Squirtle to be the part of the face cam right now so he sent out his green ninja I mean I could go for a close combat generally that should take out his green ninja but his green ninja does outspeed uh, it does kill me I'm so I'm shocked it does kill me from that range it, it is a Battle Bond Greninja that is wild. So, I wouldn't say it's generally faster because one, I could still get in my black. See, this is the thing I could put in a uh, Urushimaru, my uh, Zoroark in and try to get a focus blast off and generally that is what i will do but he's gonna also switch into the king nappy so i'm guessing he's switching into his nido king i because of the whole 
I guess, competitive team that King Happy does. So that's 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 a that's an interesting concept of doing things. Uh, since it is a poison type, I would like to go into my Professor X and try to uh, let my Professor X deal with the situation here. Because really, uh, Nido can't Nido can't can't really do too much damage to me by just probably like that earth power that earth power is like the only thing it can do i mean it's not faster than me so i should be able to outspeed it and land a psychic off and kill off king nappy but just push the su shove he is gonna switch out he's gonna sack off his rotom by a psychic so that's getting my favor and whatnot Let's see what else he's going to try to do. Let's see, I took out like what, his two or three of his Pokemon? Two of his Pokemon, right? Yeah, I took out two of his Pokemon, he only took out one, so... Uh, what I could do is go for a Focus Blast, but I don't know how fast this Greninja is. This Greninja could probably outspeed me because it is in its uh, Ash Greninja form, so. Yep. <laughs> His Ash Greninja is a little bit faster when it comes down to it. So again, I'm in a situation where a Richie Maro is the only person who could pretty much do anything to his Astro Ninja at this moment. And this is really a difficult point of my situation. Is he going to stay in, let his Green Ninja die, or is he going to switch out? He is going to switch out into his delicious being this fairy looking Pokemon here doesn't do as much damage that I was expecting but I did get a defense drop I am going to switch out into Edinetti Eddie being my uh, the trio because I do not want my uh, edit my uh, original Marvel falling to this Pokemon unless I can get off a poison attack move then that's fine by me and I'm guessing this is one of those uh I can't remember if this thing has unburdened because if it's one of those unburdened ability uh I don't know is it I can't can't remember if it is does it outspeed it outspeeds so I'm feeling like, oh, I just remember I had Focus Slash. So I should be able to take this thing out with an Earthquake, maybe. Let's see what happens. I'm probably not going to be able to take it. Do it. I don't. I don't. I, I just don't. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I feel like I was going to be able to take it out with an Earthquake. But I'm thinking this is one of those, uh... You know, again, uh, unburdened, uh, belly drum set, uh, um, Pokemon, so, that kind of sucks. That generally kind of sucks. Um, now I have to send out Urchimaru and try to get a... A sludge bomb off because that's all I could do and that doesn't happen so that's that's just that's just not gonna happen at all and I think he's gonna beat me with this uh, Pokemon because generally Urshimaru is the only thing that could be stopping his two Pokemon that's that's for sure 
Uh, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yep. That's the only Pokemon that can really stop his, uh, two. If I was at least able to somehow come up with a much better way to defeat his Slurpuff, Puff, it would have been, it would have been at least a decently good battle. But since he got that whole uh, unburdened Billy Drum set Slurp Up, it's just like, that's kind of like an unstoppable thing. Unless you don't hit it on the right moments at the right time. And take it out at those right moments and right time. You can't really do anything about it. It's just gonna overbeat you with that. And it's just gonna outspeed, so. There was really nothing for me to do about it. I could use Godzilla, but Godzilla is probably it's not gonna make a huge difference. <laughs> I, cause he just, he's one against the world right now, so honestly, I don't think he's gonna make a difference, any huge difference. Uh, cause right now he only has uh, the situ uh Needle King, uh, Rotom Wash, his Slurpuff, his Ash Green Ninja. So, I mean, and all they took out were like, were like two of his Pokemon. So that would be. Oh, never mind. He should only have like, what, like, not even the Ash Green Ninja, basically, right? Or he does have. I don't remember who else I took out. I forgot. I'll have to look at the replay. Uh, again, I get him in a situation where I can't really do too much, and he's already at max attack, plus the fact that I can't really outspeed it because he has the unburden. So he pretty much chooses the right Pokemon at the right time to belly drum and kill off uh, all my Pokemon. So, GG. Go ahead and message him, GG. Uh, that was a pretty good match. Honestly, I was not expecting the Slurp Puff with the Unburden. Uh, I was, I was, there, there was no point of really predicting when to counteract his Slurp Puff in such a way where he was going to belly drum and take me out like that. So that was a good play on his part. Uh, definitely go check out the, uh, Amino that we're on. It's, uh, let's see, what is it? It's the Sun and Moon Amino? Uh, let's see, I think there's something else to it. No, it's just the Sun and Moon Amino. Uh, definitely go check it, check him out on there. Um, he's gonna be in the Battle Sun and Moon chat room. If you definitely want to check them out, go ahead and check them out. I hate when these things pop up where it makes other single sounds. Sorry about that. But again, um, definitely go ahead and check them out. Uh, comment, share, subscribe, that like button, and subscribe. Stay awesome, guys. Bye.